Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, square A, B, C, D along with this uh, line uh, E, F put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, E, H is uh, two units. The segment uh, G, H is uh, five units. And finally, the segment uh, F, G is uh, three units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, square A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded uh, square uh, A, B, C, D. And we know all uh, its uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. So therefore, if I label uh, this side length of this uh, square as uh, lowercase x, then this side is going to be lowercase x, uh, lowercase x, and uh, lowercase x uh, across the board. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded square, and now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to s square, where s represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of the square is x. So therefore, uh, the yellow shaded square area is going to be equal to x square. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x square. And now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have drawn this uh, rectangle uh, SFTE such that uh, E, F is the diagonal of this uh, rectangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, A, D length is uh, lowercase x. Then this uh, S, E side length is going to be lowercase x. Uh, and likewise, uh, this uh, F, T side length is going to be lowercase x as well. And furthermore, we have drawn these uh, parallel lines that pass through these uh, points uh, G and uh, H. And furthermore, uh, all uh, these uh, lines are parallel to each other. And bear in mind that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, angle and uh, this angle, uh, they are our uh, corresponding angles. In other words, uh, these angles are uh, congruent. And in this uh, next step, I'm going to label uh, the side length of this uh, rectangle uh, as uh, Y. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, AB side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, MG length. If this is uh, lowercase x, uh, then this side is going to be lowercase x as well. So therefore, we can see that these uh, two right triangles, uh, right triangle ESF uh, and the other right triangle uh, HMG are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. And here we can see this uh, big right triangle uh, ESF and the smaller right triangle uh, HMG. Since these are our 90 degree angles and these are our uh, congruent uh, corresponding angles as well. And since uh, these two triangles are similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of the side length uh, SF uh, and uh, EF is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, the side length uh, MG and the side length uh, HG. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, SF uh, side length uh, is uh, our Y. So therefore, I'm going to replace that one with Y over here. And let's focus on now EF uh, length. We can see that this whole uh, EF length is going to be the sum of these uh, three individual segment lengths. 2 plus 5 plus 3. If we add them, that is going to give us... Uh, 10 units. So therefore, this uh, EF uh, is going to be 10. And now our this uh, MG length uh, is going to be, we can see this uh, MG length is going to be lowercase x. So I'm going to replace that one with lowercase x over here. 
and finally our this uh, hg segment length uh, is uh, five uh, units so i'm going to replace that one with five over here so therefore we can write uh, y divided by 10 is going to be equal to x divided by 5 and now i'm going to multiply both sides by 10 to isolate y and here we can see this 10 and 10 is gone so therefore uh, our uh, y value is going to be on the right hand side if we multiply and simplify that's going to give us uh, 2 times x so thus our uh, y value turns out to be 2 times x and now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ESF and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our this uh, hypotenuse uh, EF is uh, 10 units whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and this leg is uh, y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x square uh, plus y square is going to be equal to 10 square let's simplify so we got uh, x square plus y square equals to 100 and now we know that our uh, y value is 2 times uh, x so i'm going to replace that one uh, with that one so therefore we can write uh, x square plus uh, 2 times x uh, whole square equal to 100 so we got uh, x square plus uh, 4x square equals to 100 that is going to give us uh, 5x square equals to 100 and now we are going to divide uh, both uh, sides by 5 to isolate uh, x square and here we can see this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore our x square value turns out to be 20 so thus our x square value turns out to be 20 and moreover we know that uh, yellow square area is equal to x square so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, x square uh, equals to 20 value over here so thus our uh, yellow square area turns out to be 20 square uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 20 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye